Island. It's the exact same. Okay, so it is like 6 a.m. in the morning and we are off to Penang. Yay! There's hands. <laughs> yeah, it's a really quick flight, like what, like one and a half hours or something. So we're gonna get in early and then have the two days, like today's Saturday and then Sunday, and then we already leave like Monday morning and come back. Are you excited? Yes! I think it'll be a very exciting trip full of food and adventure. Oh yeah, Penang is known for like their street food, so we're definitely down for that. Okay, we got some laksa, prata, um, egg, I guess, and potato. So we just finished our breakfast here at the Sats Premier Lounge. Mm. Uh, I think we ate too much because we have a whole day of food ahead of us, but... It was really good. It's good, like, yeah. The laksa was like so spicy, so hands had to eat mine, but... <laughs> Okay, we just got to the Blue Mansion where they filmed the Mahjong scene in Crazy Rich Asians. We're gonna stay here while we're in Penang, so yay! So we're here in Malaysia, we're off to grab breakfast at King Ping Street. A hawker center. A hawker center nearby. And then we're gonna see if we can get some massages. Yeet. Going to Cafe Kung Pin was definitely the right decision. It was completely packed with locals when we got there and that's how you know that a place is good and authentic. It's a coffee tiam or local coffee shop and it has a ton of local Malaysian specialties for you to just browse around and try. When we first got there, it was kind of hectic and we were a bit flustered, but once we took our time to settle down, we realized that everyone was just so warm and welcoming. They were all trying to find us a place to sit. They were calling us over to their stalls to sample their food. It was so sweet. Right off the bat though, I saw this wok fried char kway tiao stall and I knew that I needed to try it because this is one of my favorite foods here in Singapore. It's a wok fried noodle with lap chung, shrimp, and a ton of other really yummy ingredients. We also decided to get some dry wonton noodle, which is another one of my favorites. Overall, Singapore and Malaysia have a lot of dishes in common, but what we've come to realize is that Singapore has spicier food while Malaysia has sweeter food. Malaysia also tends to have a lot more sauce and gravy, which is what I absolutely love, so it was perfect for me. We also got to sample this lobok, which is a marinated pork wrapped in bean curd and then deep fried. It's served with another like dough fritter and different fried chicken. It's sort of like a mix and match option. We had never tried this before, but it's one of the specialties here. So I highly recommend you try it out. The portions were huge. They do not skimp and they were all like a dollar to a dollar fifty. So it was so great to just sample and try. I highly recommend you start off your day right here. So we just got full body massages for like 11.50 USD for like one hour. Crazy. Oh my god. 
time Bye, that I remember it well Just like the photo we keep on the shelf Oh, we were young Oh, we were young Now ten years have passed and we're still locked in time I don't take for granted the years that go by Started with a gaze Collected in time Perfectly bound Like your hand fists in mine Lucky to find What we're both looking for In this life My heart is aching But somehow In all the right places You make me feel like So a co-worker of mine Suggested that we try out the Cat Museum. I'm also a big cat lover, so I was very excited to hear about the Museum of Cat Art and Craft. Oh, it says it's for adults only. Oh my gosh, look.
complete with burners for cooking, a sink, all of the dishware, a fridge. Wow. So when we booked the Blue Mansion, we thought we were actually staying there, but there was one room left and it was this place, um, Tiong, which is apparently like a, what is it? Like a literal townhouse. So yeah, we have this whole crazy. place to ourselves. This is like, this is like amazing. Oh my gosh. <gasps> There's like beautiful jazz music playing. <laughs> Okay, so this is the second level. Let's see, what's this? Oh my god, the bathroom is huge! Okay, shower, toilet, sink. Here is the living room. Oh my god. Okay, so that's downstairs. Here is the living room. Some nice jazz going. A cute little desk. Then we walk some more this way. Oh my gosh. Step down this hallway. Wow. And here is our bedroom. You guys, this is literally like so big. So beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's one more level. I'm not really sure what this is. Walking upstairs. So this is now the third level. We entered on the first and then here down below is the second story space. And a cute little attic bedroom. Okay, so literally so many people could stay in this place. It's so big, amazing. I literally can't get over this. It's like 150 USD. Yeah, definitely consider booking this place, especially if you have like a bigger party. We didn't actually know that we were booking such a big place, but yeah, there's a lot of space for the two of us now. <laughs> I want to like get your reaction. <laughs> wow. wow. Isn't it this so- Is the third floor? Yeah, there's another bedroom. Oh, oh my God. Wow. That's so cute. Whoa. I know the bathroom is massive. Nice. Is this the first bedroom? Yeah. This is like the bigger one. The top one's like an attic bed. Wow. Okay, so. It's now like dinner time. We had a pretty busy day and it was really, really hot outside. Um, I think we didn't expect it to be this hot, at least I didn't. So I was kind of really feeling it. Like definitely had some heat exhaustion. I was just kind of passed out. And yeah, but now we showered, are refreshed and ready to head out for dinner. So what's the plan? I don't know. We're gonna get dinner. There's a bar in the Blue Mansion, so we might check that one out as well as a res we made at 8.30 for this cool bar, music, live entertainment. Manchu bar. Manchu bar. Yeah, so I think we might just try to grab like street food um, before dinner and then see how it goes. Nice. I think Vietnam has been pretty cool so far. We haven't really seen that much, but the stuff that we've seen has been really nice. Mm -hmm. There's a really cute cafe culture here as, really, as well as really good sort of cheap local eats. Yeah, I think it's not as aesthetic as Singapore, but it's a lot cheaper. Like, I didn't expect it to be the prices, everything was itself. Even like tours and museums, everything is like really, really inexpensive. Yeah. So it's definitely like a really feasible travel, yeah. like short trip. Everything getting so shrouded. Yeah, it's really 
I just been spitting my flows, I just been spitting my flows, I just been ripping these shows, ripping these get it, this shit that I know. Shit that I know. 